Hello everyone, Nightmare here. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you taking the time to check out a race with me. Um, this is one of our older races, as you can tell by the Counter Strike uh, logo on the side of the car. We haven't, uh, we've changed from Counter Strike team to the Nitro team as our secondary team for Attack Motorsports. Um, I want to thank our sponsors for today. Uh, HardRockDaddy.com, music-centered website run by my buddy Adam. Uh, there's lots of good articles and stuff up on there. Uh, got playlists that are available on Spotify. He's got a Facebook page at Hard Rock, da Hard Rock Daddy. So, yeah, please do go check him out. Um, got another uh, Facebook page called Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. Very cool stuff you can find there. Um, and the music today is a song called Fade by Enox. Enox is the band. Uh, Roy, the bass player, has uh, allowed me to use the music from the band. And Fade is their brand new single, and guys, it is awesome. You need to go check it out. It's a very, very good song. All right, uh, I do want to invite you to check out our team channel at uh, Attack Motorsports ISRT on, Fa on YouTube. And, oh, I hate this track. <laughs> the walls on this. It, it is so brutal that they give you uh, penalties for hitting the wall when, I mean, you slow down enough when you hit the wall. But anyway, yeah, so, yeah, please go check out our YouTube channel for the team. Uh, we do stuff a little bit different over there. We do uh, we do what we call the replay roundtable. And this is where a bunch of us guys just get together in a party chat and kind of talk about uh, races. Um, we have guys submit, our team members submit races to us uh, for discussion on the roundtable. Uh, it could be a, a race where something just really jacked up happens that we talk about or... Uh, they just have a race where they just they can't figure out how to stay on the track and it's just hilarious so we just uh we we give them shit about that and it's just it's a lot of good fun it's just a bunch of guys sitting around talking about it it's something a little different than what you normally see on youtube which is like this video one guy sitting sitting there talking to you um but yeah so go check that out um by all means check out our band Check us out on Discord, and all of the links will be down in the description, so have no fear there. So now I'm going to come in here and ser serve this penalty, so I'm ghosted, right? Well, I unghost, bam, right there, and I get three seconds for that. That's just pure bad luck. And then I hit the wall, get another four, four uh, another second and a half. Then I get another second and a half for hitting the wall again. It was just absolutely brutal, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, I am immediately, lap two, behind the eight ball, 15 lap race, uh, medium and hard tires. It, I am just behind the eight ball right off the bat, and I'm just like, oh, you got to be kidding. But, I don't rage quit. I never rage quit. Well, I can't say never. <laughs> I normally don't rage quit. But this was not my best day. Um, but I figured I could at least run it and see if I could salvage something. I started in the top ten. I don't want to finish in dead last. That just irritates me. So I will keep running just to see what I can do here. Um, but yeah, that was just that was just brutal. And while I was in the race, I was irritated as all get out because I thought the guy that hit me uh, word uh, I thought you know he could have cleared me or moved but then I realized after watching the replay that it was just a really 
a uh, really shitty case of bad timing. He, d I just happened to unghost right there where he, where he was, so there wasn't anything he could do. So I served my <laughs> what felt like five minutes worth of penalties. And as you can see from the map up to up to the right there, I am quite a ways back. So yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna skip ahead here. Uh, there ain't a whole lot of me running around at the back that you need to see right at this point. So uh, yeah, we're gonna skip ahead in the race here and go from there. All right, so we're picking this back up at uh, the 11 minute mark of the race. Uh, well, of the replay, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> and as you can see, I've gained a couple of spots here uh, through people pitting and stuff like that. So now I'm back in the thick of things a little bit. I got 12th place in sight. Uh, 11th is up there somewhere. I might be able to get to them. But, nope. <laughs> I wind up scraping the wall and I bump that guy and then he decides to retaliate. Slams me into the wall here. And yeah, that's kind of the way it goes, I guess. I didn't intentionally bump him, but apparently he thought I did, or he just didn't appreciate it and decided to push me into the wall. Whatever their motivation was, it is what it is. So I decided to jump in the pits here and get my uh, fresh set of tires. And I know it's going to drop me back. Fortunately, in this race, I had a high number on my car. I was up uh, 18 on my car, so <laughs> currently I'm running 18th. Well, 17th, but yeah, it, it was a, I don't know. It was a pretty, uh, pr pretty bad day. But I want to keep going on this replay because there's some other shenanigans to say, to put it mildly, that uh, that I kind of want you guys to check out. Um, see if you guys think it's as dirty as I do. And if it is, hey, leave it in the comments, man. Let, let me know that I'm not uh, not entirely wrong about what I think about these guys. The thing is, I do have a pretty good lap time around here. You know, I was running those mediums, and I was running two of our 120s. So, I mean, that's that's not a bad time. I know I'm as fast, if not faster, than half the guys in this race. But you know, now I'm running on the hard tires. I think some of them may have jumped on the mediums uh, after their first pit stop. They may have started off on the hard, so that could potentially be a problem for me but I mean <laughs> on top of the problems that I've already had what difference does it make now well you can see I'm gaining pretty good on these guys this guy up here in 15th uh, J-Man 1080p uh, yeah I'm gaining on him pretty good he's got a penalty so I'm likely to get around him if I can keep him slamming into this wall again But now I got 14th and 13th right up there. I can see them, so I know I'm catching them. And oh look, it's our buddy who decided to slam me into the wall in the, on the last lap. Let's see if he stays clean this time. How much are we betting that he won't? Anybody got a dollar? 50 cents a quarter? Come on. Hell, I don't remember this race enough to know to even know if I stay clean. I may have decided to retaliate for him pushing me into the wall. Hell, I don't know. 
Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, I got around him clean there. I was kind of surprised that he didn't decide to jump out and uh, after he hit that wall, didn't try to come over to the side and knock me into the wall or something. But again, as you can see, I'm not I'm not exactly running slow laps. I mean, I ran a 127 uh, with my uh, hard tires, which tells me I should have been a lot faster with my mediums. being a couple of tenths off my fast time with the mediums on my hard tires this is it tells me I was not running nearly hard enough on the mediums but you know that kind of thing happens um, I was in some traffic well not really considering all things considered I wasn't in very much traffic at all uh, after the middle of lap two As you can see in front of me, I have uh, one of the most dreaded flags in the Gran Turismo world as far as uh, racing in North America. Um, I know a lot of people will say that all the Brazilians are dirty. Um, they're not. I have had several really good races with some of those guys. Um, we have a guy on our team named Stefano, and he was... He was surprised when I uh, offered him a spot on the team uh, because he's from Brazil and he's like, you guys know the reputation we have. I was like, yeah, I know, but I raced you, you're clean, so it's all good. And if I run across a, a Brazilian that's really clean who's not already on the team, I'll invite them. I'll ask them if they're interested. Because um, I know they're not all like that. It's just some of them think they're Ayrton Senna and they take the words that he said about going into a... Uh, a gap that no longer exists, uh, you know, that crock of crap. Um, but yeah, so I know some of them are clean. I like racing with some of them. Uh, it's just they're few and far between, but not all of them are bad. But yeah, I'm still gaining on them. I'm not, uh, I'm not too far off of where I started. I started 10th, so... I see 10th place right up there. Unfortunately, I get a really, really bad turn there. I completely miss the apex on that turn. So we got two laps to go here. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to catch up to 11th. Because finishing one spot back from where I started with all the things that happened in the beginning of the race, I'd be exceptionally happy with that. I mean, I'm pretty happy with being where I'm at now. It's not its not too bad. I, I, I can live with that. You know, I was in full-on salvage mode, and I managed to uh, salvage a pretty decent finish. So I get by the Brazilian with no problem. Got this guy up here coming up. Uh, I should know the flag, but I don't. I watch out for the ones that give me a lot of trouble. The other ones, uh, well, my geography's not great. Um, so I do apologize. I tell you what, though, this Brazilian just comes flying through there, man. He got a hell of a run through there. A little bit aggressive on the move, but, I mean, the gap was there, and he did take it, so. But then these two guys start going at it. I'm like, all right, keep going, you know, <laughs> have at it. 
I'll, I'll, I'll come around. I'll take advantage of a gap you leave. Right there, though. That is the kind of typical shit you run into. And it, I really, really wish Gran Turismo could find a way to get rid of that kind of guy. Um, the game would be so much better without that kind of garbage. He had plenty of room on the outside. There was no reason for him to run me down into the wall other than the fact that he knew I was getting around him. And he wasn't happy about it. And it's just, it's stupid. But, you know, it is what it is. Again, I'm not real displeased with being in 13th place right at this point. Uh, all things considered, how far back I was in dead last. And of course, you have the stupid penalty for hitting the wall. And yes, I know, don't hit the wall, stop hitting the wall. Okay, well, I know, but... Again, right there. Yeah, it's just wow. But I think I'm gonna pick up 12 places. This guy's got a three second penalty. I got a second and a half. Uh, I'm not sure how far the guy behind me is. Oh, he might be too far. It might be close enough. I don't know. We'll find out here. Nope, I move up 12. So, all things considered, I'm going to take that as a not too shabby. Alright guys, uh, until next time everybody, go check out our sponsors and until I talk to you next time, this is Nightmare. Peace. So I suffer from the worst condition!